Hi and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to explore some synthesis, one of our synthesis recipes here, and we're going to look at a chiptune generator, a kind of chip, old 8-bit sounding thing that emulates a sound that used to come from your game consoles if you were my age, back in the NES or Atari days. Uh, and now it's become quite a thing. So uh, luckily, Super Collider has a nifty little uh, uh, Ugen lift little um, sound generator that generates a really nice chiptune sound. So we're going to look at that. So I'm starting with our basic framework here, this sine wave framework, and really it's just a way to get in some arguments to change some things, and it has an envelope generator. If you're not familiar with this code that we see it right here, I did some previous videos that cover this so uh, it would be worth having a look so I'm just gonna sort of build on that knowledge right now and in fact this entire setup right here with these OSC defs and such is for um, an external controller a MIDI mouse theremin type of controller so we're gonna use our mouse to play um, these sounds okay through a separate graphic thing done in processing alright so let's start simply by saying that we're gonna replace this oscillator and it's a kind of a simple synthesis recipe. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and replace our oscillator with this uh, nifty little chip tune generator, and it's called AY. Okay, and we can look that up in the health file if we want to. AY, and yes, it's a it's a it's a really nifty little thing. It's um, emulator of the AY, the YM sound chip used in the Spectrum and Atari. All right. Uh, I guess the Yamaha 2149, it gives you all this really interesting information. It sounds great. Uh, various home computers in the 1980s. And it has a number of these arguments. Now, um, it's the tone value from 0 to 4095. So the, 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 the arguments are a little bit uh, complex, but they give you some helper, helper um, things to get. So basically, there's kind of like three tone generators. And um, you can use that and set them to different uh, voltages and such. And then you have a noise thing, and you can control how the noise is mixed up. And you have the different voltages, and then you have this sort of envelope kind of thing. Um, oh, very interesting. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up our, our three oscillators, our three kind of pitch sets there. And then I'll show you a little trick. So our first one, we're going to have to use their little ay.freak to tone uh, module and then it's looking for frequency and there's three of them so the first one we're just going to set to our base frequency that's coming in from our mouse or whatever all right and uh, it's being set by this pitch which is a MIDI pitch and then it's being converted to uh, um, Hertz frequency and then our second one now we're gonna make these harmonics so we're gonna do same same syntax dot freak to tone and then freak as well, so we can just copy and paste those, and we'll do that as well. Okay, and um, we're going to now create a harmonic multiplier. All right, so we're going to have this multiplied by we'll just call H1 a harmonic, uh, this first harmonic, and then we'll have another one called H2, a second harmonic. All right. So we need to def we need to set up H1 and H2. Now instead of making them arguments, I'm going to make them variables to use within the code because I'm going to show you a little trick, and I'm going to just generate random harmonics so that it changes. So the nature of the sound sort of changes a little bit as you as you play it, and that that kind of harkens back to some of those things. And it's a nifty little trick. So what we'll do is we'll do this after. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter when we do it. We can do it any time. And so H1, I'm going to make equal to, I'm going to use this, uh, this random signal-based signal based random, random signal generator, I guess really it is. Um, and it's called TI Rand. And it's the control rate. Okay? And this will generate um, a random integer. So TI Rand generates random integer. T Rand will generate a random float. And it, it's between this low and this high, these arguments, and then you have a trigger. Okay, which needs to be like a signal, a control rate, a signal trigger. Uh, I, I'll show you. I'll just use impulse. So I'm going to go something somewhere for two. That'll be our lowest harmonic, say uh, the second second partial, and we're going to maybe go all the way up to seven. Okay, the highest. So it's going to generate a random number every so often between two and seven, and then it's going to just make that change that number. So you get a changing 
changing sort of spectrum there. And our trigger will do impulse. And impulse is just an impulse generator. It generates a, a non-zero signal um, every so often at a certain frequency. We can just use a control rate one, because that's what we're doing. And a frequency will just do maybe one, once every second. So in, in other words, this TI random is going to generate a number between 2 and 7 every second. Okay? And then it's going to change the harmonic partial that that's being played by that one. All right? And then we'll just copy that code. And we will make H2 exactly the same thing. Every second, it'll generate a random number between 2 and 7 and change the second partial there. OK. Now, there's a couple other settings that we need to do. I'll just make a line here. And there's some settings I like. Uh, 2, 5, we'll just copy those over. 2, 5, 3, 15. So 2, 5 being the sort of noise, amount of noise on a scale from 0 to 1. Uh, 3 being the way this noise is sort of blended in this control. And then the voltages, 15, 10, and 7, are sort of uh, max being 15, uh, the loudness, really, of the three tones. So we have a descending sort of partial spectrum here. Um, and I guess, you know, I, you, you can, if you want, you can make it based on that partial number. You know, you can be... Um, uh, yeah, but we'll leave it. That's fine. 10 and 7 it seems pretty good. Uh, interesting. Okay, so now, right, so so we have this now. So our synth has replaced our sine wave. We have this AY. It's going to sound good. It's going to be interesting. Now, I, there's a couple things I want to change in addition to this. Uh, our original envelope is this ASR, standard sort of attack sustain release envelope. Um, and that's a general purpose use. But I'm going to make this really nice and clicky kind of. So I'm going to use a different envelope, and it's called PERC, RC for percussive. Okay. And if I just place a comma there, we can look. You have an attack time, a release time, a level, and a curve. So this is not one of those sustaining types. So in other words, our trigger, you don't have to do a trigger on and then a trigger off uh, with their mouse. Okay. Um, in, in fact, what will just, you're going to just send a trigger, it'll play, and then it'll release itself based on the amount of time. All right, so what we'll do is we'll, um, uh, we got to just uh, harmonize these arguments. So the release, we don't need this one here. Release is going to be that. We're going to budget over, actually, be the level is going to be one. And the curve, all right? And we'll make the attack nice and short as it is. And the release, uh, we can make pretty short too. Um, uh, well, let's see how 0.2 sounds. Sense. I think I used 2.5, and they'll keep the curve like a default negative 4. Okay, um, and then we're going to change this trigger now because we don't need a 1 and a 0. We don't need a triggered on and then have a 0 triggered off. We want every trigger to trigger the envelope, okay? But we don't want to have to go trigger 1 and then 0, trigger 1 and 0, something like that. So we're going to use, um, uh, do I need to change this? I might not need to change it. Let me leave that and see how that goes. Okay, I might not need to change that. All right, so let's just change the name though. We'll call it Chippy. Okay, and then we're going to change the name over here so it starts as Chippy. Okay, good. So I think that's going to do it. Uh, pretty simple mod, and it's a great sound. So we're going to boot our server here, which is already running apparently. And let me just actually recompile just in case I was up to no good earlier. Boot it, send that, and let's see how that sounds. Ah, we do have to trigger it though. Um, oh well, it's 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 running. So we'll open up our uh, MIDI keyboard here, our mouse theremin keyboard. Very nice. So I think. So let's go. Oops. Oops.
maybe we can even make it shorter if you want to do that. You can just do a empty.set here. We'll make our REL much shorter, 0 0.0, say 7, something like that. Let's see what that sounds like. That's too short, huh, isn't it? Uh, what do we have? Well, yeah, two, so maybe one five then. Anyways, you know, we go pl I get rid of, a little bit rid of that glide. Okay, in any case, there you go. So that was a pretty simple mod and a really nifty sound. Anyways, I can play this forever. You don't need to watch me do that. So good luck with that. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, and a nifty, really easy thing to do is to use this AY generator. Um, and good luck with that.